Oh, hey there. Oh, hey there, everybody. It's MJ. It's July uh, 30th. That's right. My name is Michael Jackson. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I'm... <laughs> I know. I've had one of those juicy premenstrual cry-cry mornings where just all of your whole of life is being processed out of your tear ducts and you're like, bless God. <laughs> um, happy new day to you, you guys. I, you know, I wrote a book about processing our emotions and how valuable that is. It's normal for some people. It wasn't normal for me. And apparently there's a lot of stored up unprocessed emotion that will continue to clarify your mind and heal your body. So, hi, we're going to do a little reading for July, for July 31st. Did I say that wrong the first time? I'm a day behind, so whatever. <laughs> or my day ahead. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not, though. I'm not actually sorry. You know, when you're healing from trauma, you got to pay attention to how often you're saying sorry. You deserve to be here. Stop apologizing for it, all right? When we say sorry all the time, it's probably because we grew up in slightly, you know, ang aggro or maybe abusive homes. So, divine guidance and loving clarity for my lover supreme divine guidance and loving clarity for my lover supreme i just feel like taking the piss today and c cocooning a little bit i could cocoon uh ooh, new uh yoga vibratory sesh is happening uh, somewhere in a privé location <laughs> Fuck. i'm in a really weird mood in a, a location privé yeah. Is anyone on the other side of the screen who speaks French? What is what is the fuck? <laughs> <gasps> oh God, I forgot to blow a schnoz and I'm hot but sweaty. <laughs> Thing is, you guys know who you are. I know, like you know, that it's not really about the cards, is it? about saying hello on the other side of the airwaves because we get each other you feel me you feel me those this is the thing about this little intimate crew of love is supreme in the ultra love tv community is that these people know what i'm talking about <laughs> they feel me and they're and like now there's enough of a flow where I'm like, these, these are like ride or die new paradigm people. You know, this is like, I'm committed to healing my heart. I'm committed to healing this fucking gacky shit, narcissistic, shitty, 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 brutal, brutal, brutal world. That's a lie. This world is beautiful and, 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 and like infinitely intelligent stuff that we're doing here. Mm questionable that's more like what it where it's at it's like holding space for the juvenile mental perspective of our humanity and being like let's grow up okay let's rise ourselves together and stop fighting over the resources and just share it's not that fucking difficult you guys <laughs> But I mean, I'm sure we're all dealing with just personal issues where it's like, it's not that difficult. I don't know, like, it's not that difficult to apologize. I am sorry for hurting your feelings. See, just like that. But for some reason, it eludes some people. Why should I say sorry? Anyway, oh, I just got distracted by my own hair. I've started, I'm a woman of an age, all right? And I've noticed that my thick hair has started to be less thick, which is annoying. But don't fret, I Googled it. And I, apparently if you put rosemary, so my hair is a bit greasy because I'm trying to put the old rosemary in there to make her grow more. Mainly because I want my hair to be down to my arse. If you don't like it, go somewhere else, okay? <laughs> yeah, 
You already have. You're not with me anymore. Are you? Are you? Are you still here? Oh, what? Hey, what? Mm. Yeah. I. <laughs> just, this is why I do. This is part of it. It's not for you. It's for me. It's for me to get jazz and juju in the hala hala because life is hard enough. You do something you love. It's like the yoga vibratory, man. Like, yoga is just so legit and, like, whole. Like, I just read it so up there. Unlike lots of other things, you know? But I'm into the yoga vibratory. And, uh, yeah, it just does what it says on the cookie cutter, you know? Tarot is a little bit more, I think, using your discernment and... Um, I mean, I think you should use discernment for everything. Right? I just looked up 555. Um, sorry, I was like mid-conversation with somebody on the WhatsApp. Let's just put you to the side and have a little read. Just kidding. Okay, let's get into it. My lovers, there's something moving you forward. Uh, there's this, there's this game of chess in the five of wands, and I'm like, yo, you get ready. You're gonna, you're about to win a battle. You're about to checkmate a situation. That's how it feels. Why? Because it's the chariot moving you forward. Empress energy, divinely guided, stepping into these new beginnings and feeling probably pretty good about that motion forward. But this has been strategized. So um, as in the checkmate, you're not you're not just moving forward, being like, I'm moving forward. You've you've there's strategy behind what you're doing. There's something coming through about and that's the key to success. You're having to move forward. OK, you're moving forward from situation, people, places and things that burn you out and exhaust you. Uh, which would usually mean that these are imbalanced situ situations, people that make us tired, um, <laughs> situations where we can honestly line up the facts and be like, I'm <coughs> giving and giving and giving and just, it just doesn't, it's just not, you know, coming back kind of thing. So looking at those <clears throat> imbalances, because those imbalances, we've we've been through it before. It's likely we've been through it before. These are repeating cycles where we give too much, we end up burnt out, we end up exhausted, we end up maybe even losing out on stuff because we haven't had the energy to put into ourselves in that way. <coughs> Pardon me. And then for some of you, there's something going on at home that you can't see or other people can't see. Um, uh, Ten of... Ten of Cups reversed with the Eight of Sword. I, for some reason, I'm getting like, there's a, maybe a secret going on. Like some of you are, are keeping a secret. It might need your strength. It might be about romance. But Ten of Cups obviously is like happy home life. But there's something going on that either like you or maybe the kids or something, something, something somebody can't see to do with the heart. So it's more to do um, like you and your partner having couples therapy or, um, heart chakra, just a renewal of love, falling in love, having love, um, needing strength within it though, as well. Let's pull a couple more cards. You guys take your time. Although saying that I'm like, Oh, take your time. But at the same time, be ready to move forward. That's great. Thanks for that advice. Cheers. Divine guidance and loving clarity. There's a lot of strength energy here, you guys. There's as in finding our courage, our resilience. So that makes me think that for some, it's not going to move forward, but there's going to be little seeds being planted. Um, not just seeds being planted, but like, you know, that, that thing about like the headlights will only show you the however many f yards ahead is that you're... You can only see the couple steps forward and then you got to just trust so that then you take another couple steps and then the next few steps in front of that show themselves um but there's more information that you're accumulating there may be new information secret information whatever that means like you know making deals behind the scenes kind of thing but moving fo you moving forward in a guided way that supports a, a new beginning a new release a new sense of joy you feeling empowered and or you choosing empowered energy, choosing empowered you, empowered people, 
this is a checkmate situation. It's connected to the heart and possibly for some of you achievement. Let's be real. If we're trying to achieve something and we're around people that are like siphoning energy from us, parasitic energy or uh, stealing or whatever or lying, they're not really supporting. How are we going to achieve our dreams when we're surrounded? If, if, if we're surrounded by people that don't genuinely care as in they don't they're not really doing it for your success and achievement they're only hooking on maybe because they might get kickback right they're not actually in it for your joyful success you guys this is really about heart and choosing the heart and uh <laughs> leading with heart right this is i don't know the ojas in the in the um yogic text so the subtle essence of health and well-being peaceful and patient it is in the upright beautiful card reminds me of um um what's that movie it reminds me of avatar vibratory so one look one look is all it takes <clears throat> Okay, I don't know. One look is all it takes to see how much ojas someone has. Have people been coming up to you and telling you how healthy, rested, and happy you look? Mm, thank you. Don't you love that, girls? When somebody is like, oh, you look so tired. You're like... <laughs> You're like... And... What you mean to say is I look rough, don't you? Isn't that, isn't it? Oh, you look very tired. You mean I look disgust or is that what you're trying to say? No, I don't know. That's just my hyper vigilance and hypersensitivity probably. Um, hala, hala, hala. This is, okay, so are you looking rested and happy? People are noticing it. This is Ojas. Ojas is the subtle essence related to health and well-being in which you are filled your, uh, you radiate good health with your glowing skin and peaceful demeanor and patient essence. Why, thank you. Your dietary and lifestyle choices are showing up in your appearance and your inner state is reflecting in your outer. Continue caring for your sacred vessel and nourishing your body with the foods and practices that make you thrive. Hala Shazam, beautiful, beautiful energy. And it, for some reason, it made me think of like I do a local... Uh, sort of exchange like donation based yoga class at a place uh, that I lived as an estate it's kind of cool hippie vibes and lots of environmentally friendly um, people awakened uh, just really and anyway so I, I show up it's, uh, it's technically like the only only class I'm doing but um, I really enjoy going and hanging out with these people and um, they they run gardens and have a permature, permaculture garden and all this kind of stuff. So when the head gardener shows up, she'll sometimes bring me like a huge thing of of fruit and vegetables. Like I don't have money. I'm like, this is money. I'm like, I need to actually send her a personal message just to say like honestly, I prefer the fresh food because the last two days that I've been eating, she just got me like loads of greens and like edible flowers and some herbs and then one of the other girls like a huge bag of this is all fresh local pro one the the like robustness of the flavor is like hala shazam next level but then i swear to god there's just so much more nutrient like i just feel fuller and more alive after eating local fresh produce which i'm pretty sure is what our bodies are designed to consume so consuming food that's been treated and traveled and da -da 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 is like taking away from the vital essence which is why we're all kind of undernourished and overfed as in we're hungry because our bodies aren't getting the macro micronutrients we need whoop whoop did we just ramble i just did a ramble but who cares um you got the you got the love you got the ojas that's the love hot vibratory of the most high that's gonna keep you good to go I would say beyond all things, it's the unconditional uncondish love that's going to see you through and heal your bones. 